In this lesson, we are going to um, draw a line of best fit once we have created a scatter plot. So the scatter plot allows us to plot the points the, um, and look at the relationship between the points. So uh, we're looking at the plotting the independent and dependent variables, um, which creates a scatter plot. We are looking at if there is a correlation between these variables. So is there a, a relationship between the X and Y variables? Um, is it a positive correlation? Is it a negative correlation? Or is there no correlation? And then once we've decided whether there is a correlation, we might want to draw, draw <coughs> a line of best fit. So a line of best fit is the line that best fits the data. So we need a ruler to draw the line of best fit. Preferably if you're using a ruler, you might want to use a ruler that you can see through so that you can see the points when you are drawing your line of best fit. So we try to draw the line in the middle of the data. So we want the line to go through the middle of the points. Uh, we want to try and draw the line through as many points as we possibly can. And the points that aren't on the line, we want to divide them up equally above and below the line. And then the last thing is we want to ignore any outliers. So any points that don't really fit the data, we sort of disregard those because they are going to distort our line of best fit if we try to include them. So usually any points that are not fitting the data, we'll just ignore those and we'll just put our line of best fit through the majority of the points. So here's an example of a line of a scatter plot. Um, at the top here, we have a scatter plot of number of games played, and then um, it says tickets won. I'm not sure what that is. Possi possibly a number of games played and a lottery ticket. I'm not sure. Anyway, we have a scatter plot here, and we want to draw a line to best fit through this scatter plot. So below it, we have three options A, B, and C. So if I were drawing my line of best fit, I want the line to go through mainly the middle of the points, and I want um, to hit as many points as I possibly can. And I want to make sure that points that are not on the line are as close as I can get uh, to be distributed equally above and below. So if I were drawing my line of best fit, I would probably draw it something like this, where I'm going through the middle. So if I look at option A, Option A is not really through the middle of the points. Um, I think I have a little bit low, so I have more points above it than below it. Option B is not a good line of best fit because it's um, not going through uh, the middle of the points. So it's not going through um, the middle and distribute. So option C is probably the best option. Um, it's going through the middle of the points, it's um, putting them above and below fairly equally, so option C would be the best option for those points. This question, so this is a positive correlation. I can see that as the number of games played increases, right, as I go to the right, the value of tickets one is also increasing, it's going up. So as x increases, y is increasing. Okay, so here we have another scatter plot and we want to draw a line of best fit. So again, this one is a, let's just look at the previous, this is indicating a negative correlation. Because as x increases, the value of the points is decreasing. So I want my line of best fit to go through the middle as best as I can. One thing to remember with line of best fit is it is subjective. My line of best fit might not look like your line of best fit. We should have line of best fit that is similar. Uh, it is close to what it's looking like, but our line of best fit might not be exactly the same. So there's not one right answer for line of best fit. It's my interpretation of the points and where I think most of the points fit. So if I were drawing it, I'd probably draw it possibly somewhere through like this. So I have um, mainly through the middle. I didn't hit many points, but my points are distributed equally above and below. It looks like I have about the same number of points above that line as I do below that line. 
Uh, this one has a positive correlation. It's not a great correlation, but there is definitely some relationship. So it looks like as my age increases, my annual income is increasing. Um, it's not the best correlation. There are some outliers. So I would probably put my line of best fit somewhere here. Um, so again, I'm only hitting maybe four points, but I have distributed my points above and below fairly equally. So this would be my interpretation of my line of best fit. Um, again, there is a positive because as I get older, it looks like I generally make more money.